Today we're going to be configuring joysticks to work with the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you're coming from FSX, you may find that your joystick no longer works out of the box. Fortunately, we are able to manually configure most older joysticks, although the way to do this is not very self-explanatory. For this video, I'll be using the Logitech Attack 3, but these steps should work for most other joysticks. First, let's click Options, and then Controls. Click your device if it's not already selected. In order to see the key and axis mappings, you need to switch the filter option from Assigned to either All or Essentials. To ensure that we have all the controls, I will use the All option. For the pitch and roll axes, we will click Flight Control Surfaces, Primary Control Surfaces. Here we can map the ailerons axis. And on my joystick, that is the joystick L axis X. And then click validate. It will ask you to enter a profile name. Now we can map the elevator axis. For my joystick, that's the joystick L axis Y. Validate again. And now we have the joystick configured for both pitch and roll. My joystick also has a rolling switch that I use for the throttle. To map this, we'll minimize the flight control services, expand power management, and throttle. To ensure that the throttle controls all engines when flying a multi-engine aircraft, make sure you scroll down all the way to the bottom until we see throttle axis. For the Logitech Attack 3, we use the joystick L axis Z. From here, you can customize the remaining buttons on your joystick. If we look at the profile that I've already set up, we'll see that I also have under flight control services, the rudder controls map to separate buttons, the flaps also mapped, and the trim controls mapped. I've also mapped a button for switching the camera mode from the cockpit to the external view. Finally, I've also mapped the brakes to the trigger on my joystick. And that's it. You should be able to fly now using your older joystick. In the coming weeks, I'll be posting more content for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator, including some videos of starting the aircraft from cold and dark, working with air traffic control, taxiing to the runway, takeoffs, landings, and various flight maneuvers. Is there anything you'd like to see in a video? Comment down below and let me know. Or come over and see me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash turbochuck. I'm live most evenings. Feel free to come by. Thanks for watching.